Uh, this is Kurt of View Factor. This is the Continuo powered cage. Uh, we just put them up on the store and we wanted to give a quick rundown on all the features of this thing. So basically if you look at this, we have a little voltage indicator on the bottom right of the unit. Uh, as the voltage in your battery goes down, the LEDs will slowly uh, go down like this. Uh, eventually when it goes below 12 volts, it will start blinking. That indicates that your accessories are going to start going out. So you want to keep an eye out for uh, under voltage conditions. Um, but typically if you put 13 to 18 volts, it'll, uh, it'll be covered. Uh, right now we're running this off a DTAP connector. So if you look up here, there's actually a DTAP running off the power supply. Um, this could be plugged into a battery plate as well. So this is a uh, Anton Bauer battery plate. And you can plug it right into the DTAP here. Um, if you don't want to use that, uh, we also have another one available, which is a powered plate with a integrated cable. So you can plug this into the body of the, uh, the Continuo and it frees up your DTAP connector for your remote follow focus like a Bartek or Preston or a View Factor. Um, other options on this, we have a trigger here which allows you to start and stop the camera with an infrared remote. So in the front here you see this little guy is actually an infrared emitter and in the base there's a uh, microcontroller that runs off this trigger. So when you plug in an Origo like this guy uh, into that trigger port, when you hit the start button, it'll actually start and stop your camera uh, via a wire. So the nice part about that is a lot of follow focus systems have a trigger connector on it, uh, so you could start and stop uh, using your Bartek or Preston or you know pretty much any remote follow focus system. Um, we also have regulated outputs here. These are 12 volt regulated outputs. Uh, we have a couple options there at the moment. So one of them is this cable, which is a, um, a barrel jack connector that will allow you to plug into here, and then you can plug that into your HDSDI converter. So you can power up your black magic off of this. Um, this is regulated voltage, uh, so it gives you really close tolerances you know, to 12 volts that allow you to run that. Um, the other option is we have a monitor cable, uh, which is a four pin female monitor cable that plugs into there to run your uh, Marshall monitor or ICANN, whatever, whatever you might have. Um, some other features on this thing, uh, just tons and tons of bolt holes all over this guy. Um, one thing to note on the power cage is you only have these two uh, bolts on the bottom here. Uh, there's a 15 millimeter mount that goes on here that allows you to have standard 15 millimeter rod spacing. I'd highly recommend you get that. Um, we're also going to have a cheese plate available next week, which will um, basically recreate all of the, the holes that are on our non-powered cage. Uh, on the side here, we have holes as well. Uh, there's going to be some side handles that you'll be able to attach here. Uh, and on the top, we have the same features, so you'll be able to put a top handle. Um, this one is showing a cine lock, which is from a company called 16 by 9 just down the street from us. The nice thing about that is that we can actually take this battery plate that I showed you earlier and we can click it right in to the side of the cage. And then we have a solid mount, and then you can plug directly into the back of this guy, uh, like so. So now you have a self-contained solution where you can actually start, uh, start your camera up with an external battery. Um, this is going to have uh, another option, which will be a, a lightweight 15 millimeter mount that will allow you to mount this to your bars. Uh, we'll have that available next week as well. So anyway, so that's the, uh, the rundown on the powered cages. Uh, hopefully you guys are interested, and they're available in the store right now at viewfactor.net. Thanks.